just living on Saturday. We're here at Camping World to pick up some parts for our trailer that got damaged on our Yellowstone trip. After that I'm going to head down to Oscar Blues and give everybody a tour of that brewery. So we got the fender skirt. It took a couple of weeks to get in. Uh, we're going to put that on the trailer hopefully here next weekend but let's head over to Oscar Blues right now and check the place out. On our way to Oscar Blues we decided to stop off here at Chub Burger. Chub Burger is one of my favorite places to get a burger. It's one of the best burgers I've ever had. It's also owned by Oscar Blues so thought it'd be cool to check it out. Chub Burger, black fat Angus beef, Got Berkshire pork, all natural bison, some fish sandwiches, a veggie burger. I'm going to get the Burke burger, which is an all natural Berkshire pork. It's got the honey wheat bun, blue cheese butter, balsamic grilled onions, and bacon. Back here they've got some homemade ketchup. Uh, one is just regular house made and one is just ginger. I'd recommend that you try the ginger, it's really good. Geeks Who Drink tonight, 7 to 9 p.m. So, not a whole lot of room to sit, but they do have a few tables. Trust me, the burger more than makes up for it. They've got a little game area with some arcades. Up at the bar, looks like they have all of the Oscar Blues on tap. Back in the back, they've got an open area where you can see and cook your burger. Got some more seating back here in the back, and then a little patio area. Looks like they have five tables out here with a garage door. Today they have a sign telling you that you need to go back into the dining area in order to order. Usually you can order right up here, but this not being a prime lunch or dinner hour, they want you to go back in the bar. I ordered the Old Chub Nitro. It comes in its own glass. All of their beers do. It is a Scottish ale. So interesting fact about Nitro beer, it's actually from Ireland, that's where they first started doing it, but the reason they do it is uh, nitrogen adds a little bit of bubbles to your beer, but not nearly as much as CO2. CO2 gives you quite a bit more gas, and uh, it's also more acidic, CO2 is, so Nitro beer gives you less of a bitter taste. So the burger came out, took about seven and a half minutes. It comes wrapped in some aluminum foil. It's not a very big burger, but let's open it up and take a look. Look at that, really full of good stuff. Back there it looks like they've got some more non-craft beers, some Blue Moon, some ciders, Coors, things like that. They don't just sell the Oscar Blues list of beers. All in all the price wasn't too bad. The Burke Burger was $8 and the Chub Nitro was $6. Oh, Chub Burger, that was a really, really good bird. Something interesting about Chub Burger, they started out as a food truck back in 2011 called the Bone Wagon. Uh, but it was such a big hit that they decided to open up their first restaurant here in Longmont. They've got another restaurant in Denver, and they just opened up at Coors Field where the Rockies play. So we're headed over to the Oscar Blues Brewery in Longmont, Colorado. Just finished Chub Burger and didn't eat the whole burger, so I saved some room for some wings. We're going to try those out. Uh, Oscar Blues was started in Lyons, Colorado in 1997 by Dale and he's expanded quite a bit since then. He's got locations uh, in quite a few places around Colorado, even at Coors Field. So let's go check out the one here in Longmont and hopefully we can make it down and also see the one down in Lyons. So here we are here at Oscar Blues, just on the corner of Over and Highway 119. Let's go inside and check it out. Here's their beer menu. I ordered, ordered the Oscar Blues Goodnight. It's pretty good, a bit bitter, and really strong, but a good beer. So they've got lots of booths in here. It's a, quite a bit bigger than the Chubburger, and 
and their menu is a lot bigger too. Back here they've got a swag area. With a section here of their hot sauce. We're going to try their wings. But they are supposedly really, really good. We've got the men's t shirts over here. They're all $20, so that's not bad. Outdoor area. Really large. There's the stage. Got some cornhole set up. And apparently, you can bring your dog. Upstairs, they've got some more seating. Looks like it's closed down right now. And back here, got quite a bit more seating. Lots of memorabilia on the wall. It says Colorado's best wings. We're gonna get an order of those with the good night green jalapeno. Wings are here. Over here we have the good night with the green chili. And over here we have the old chub chipotle. The wings are quite large. So I'd say if you order a set of 10 wings, they're likely to fill you up. The green chili wings are really interesting. They've got, you know, like a real green chili sauce that really adds to the flavor. They're, they're, they're just interesting. I've never had any wings like this before. Just as you walk in the front door, they've got all kinds of root beers and sodas that they also sell. Oscar Blues, Longmont, Colorado. Those wings were really, really good. They had the perfect amount of smoke. Uh, had wings all over the United States, and some of them that they try to smoke, they've got too much smoke, they've got too little smoke. These were just perfect. That green chili sauce was really interesting. Never had anything like that before. I also want to point out something uh, interesting I found out about Oscar Blues. They sell all their beers in cans, which I knew that, but I didn't know why. Uh, Dale made the decision back in 1997 when he started things out that it would be more environmentally friendly to sell the beers in a can. It also reduces the cost of transportation, so something interesting. Let's head over to the original Oscar Blues in Lyons and see what that brewery's like. So we're approaching Lyons, Colorado, and I just wanted to stop and show you guys how pretty that is. It's right on the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Okay, we are entering Lyons, Colorado. Oscar Blue should be right here on the left. And here it is. How about to give it up for now? This is so big, I don't understand. You let out Porky Woogie and Willa know the man out here. Tell me, Mama. downstairs area kind of in the basement where their main bar is located. They've got some pool tables, a dance area, and some stages. They've got a video arcade room. This is kind of cool with some black lights. How cool is this? Something for the kids to do while the parents have a good time. Coming up the stairs from the basement here. To have a little more well-lit bar area with some garage doors that open up. Upstairs they've got some additional seating. It's their main dining area. Out here on the upper deck, you can see all the lower deck. Watch the music, have your food.
This is the Pinner IPA. So we're going to start out with a pinner of all the Good night, which we've already had tonight. 8.7 ABV, 60 IBU. And then this is the old chub with uh, CO2 and silver nitro, so it's going to be a little bit bitter. I'd say more bitter. And that one's really good. I think that one's my favorite. It's very dark and rich and multi. Okay, well, the tap ran out for Dale's Pet Hell. So I'm going to give that a try as soon as we can. Same is true of the Yellow Pills. So. Well, here's the Yellow Pills. Huh? It's pretty crisp and clean. It's not nearly as bitter as the other one. Uh, what was the one? Lavas or whatever? Lavadilla? Ranch? Yes. So, all done here at Oscar Blues in Lyons, Colorado. Uh, really interesting place. Did the beer flights and a lot of range of flavors. They've definitely got a full range of products there. Uh, some interesting things I learned while I was in there. Oscar Blues shipped 200,000 barrels in 2016 and they're ranked second in Colorado right behind New Belgium and right in front of Odell's so they're definitely doing very well they've had some recent investments and now they have brewery locations where they're distributing beer in Texas and North Carolina they've also recently gone international here in 2017 they're gonna start shipping their beer to other parts of the world so we're going to keep a tab on Oscar Blues and see how they do in the future. What a great day here in Colorado. We explored all of Oscar Blues here in Northern Colorado and felt like we had a good time. But now we're home. It's getting late and time to get ready to close up shop. So until next time, keep on living intentionally. <laughs>